guys, welcome back to another Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to be going to go through Lady Slither from Mattel Creations. It's arrived at last. So if you've all been following the Origins line, you will now be aware that Mattel will be just releasing all future figures. So for, directly from them. Although there is going to be a few select filmation, let's say, waves uh, going straight to retail. The direct ones, so like it'll be Extendar, Cyclone, Rio Blast, all of them ones will be direct from Mattel Creations. So, anyway, getting back to Lady Slither comes in this fabulous little box on the back of it it's got a lovely little write up I'll take a snapshot of that and pop it up on the screen but you can just slide it straight out and you have the, the back and art absolute cracking back and art on this one so it's even got like the glossy type of effects where it's just the images of them themselves so it's not all glossy it's just it's just them to make it stand out from the whole lot but there she is so sitting on a throne on the front you have also got the art there. So so there she is with all the other future Snake Man releases. You have also got a little shot of the Snake Slayer, which was on the the YouTube's Mattel Creations as well. So let's crack this open, get a closer look. So within the box it's got the little mini comic. This one is the Sword of the Serpent. So I'll just give a little flick through. And you can pause it as you wish. So here she is out of the box. So let's quickly go through the articulation. So a head, hmm, head jet bubbles up, down, left, right, arms up, down, round, around, ball joint at the arm, twist 360. So I do know that they do pop off as well. So my head is not popping off. On this one I don't want to pull it too much. But we all know she pops off at the middle. Knees. Little, little stiff but knees do bend back ball jointed on the foot twist at the shin ok so she does pop off the head does also pop off the cape is removable so it's all that like flexy type of plastic type of cape so but the tail piece that she comes with so the tail piece that she comes with it comes with this little waist type of armlet and that just clips on to the top there like so these are all like separate clip-ins so you got one two three four 
four points of articulation on it so they all twist and move about and then she clips on the top like so so and obviously she comes with two little weapon accessories so you've got the snake staff where it's in more of a gold yellow mustardy type of colour and a little dagger as well but just bring it in close to look at the the detail on, on her there so you've got the little snake crown and then a chest plate you've got the little snake emblem and like you say it's like in the shape of a snake mouth where you've got the fangs there she's got the armlets and the gauntlets on so our top body matches the the centre part green and the dark green but if I just pop this top part off and pop this so this centre part it's been made for a top part of a female figure but if you do take this off it is a more wider base and if you get the right match detail with all the other snake man variations you can use the top part of the figure and place on top so here's one variation with Fangor for instance so you can see with the detail it kind of matches with the two-tone green Or you could even have King Kiss. But there you have it guys, there is Lady Slow there, a little quick review. Again, comment, did you get your chance to get this? If so, what do you think of it? I've seen a few people that have come with it, um, a few little minor flaws. <laughs> One being two left arms. But do all the usual stuff, give us a like, give us a sub, hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any others, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. So I will just drop her in. Maybe just pop her, pop her on there for now with the rest. But it's kind of coming on. So I'll just need to give a little rejig on a few things. But there it is. Okay guys, see you soon.